All right, for you guys who don't know, we got our first block of Cornish Cross chickens about two weeks ago today. I would make it a how-to video, but how about I just start throwing it together and you guys see how it looks when it's done. Let's check it out. So right now at the beginning of August is one of the best times that you can purchase chickens that you want to raise for meat. It's just so hot outside that right around three weeks you can start getting your chickens outside. Unlike when you take home chickens and it's October or March, it's just so cold for them that you have to wait until you can bring them outside. That was our main goal here is to get them around this time so that they were going to handle the temperature. We could get them outside sooner. Our main goal of this chicken tractor is we want it to be light. We want to be able that only one of us needs to come out here and pull it when we need to. We don't want to have this big complex system of having these huge wheels on it or having to pull it up or having two people come out in order to do it. We really want it to be like a one person job to have to come out here and just pull this chicken tractor once a day if not twice a day. Well, it took about three days, drill dying, rain nonstop happening, but I think we have a chicken tractor. We just gotta get some chickens inside it. Let's see how it works. So we've had our Cornish cross here in this outdoor coop probably for about five days now. We had to get them out of the house, but we didn't have our chicken tractor just built just yet. This actually was a chicken tractor that we used for our new flock that we had that we brought in with our existing flock. But it's so dang heavy that we had to build something a little smaller. It's time to get these guys to some fresh grass and letting them enjoy the good life. Let's get them into our new tractor here. Close this before they start. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, tear my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in the so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. We are super excited to get them out and onto grass and being able just to be a little bit more free and not having to just sit around in the one place. We're excited to start this new journey here for raising our own meat and starting to take responsibility for this and just trying to get closer and closer to the end goal and learning and just being a little nervous about all that it entails to raise your own meat and to care for these chickens. I can tell that they are super excited to be in this tractor. I'm hoping it works out. I'm hoping that it keeps them nice and safe. Let me show you guys a few features here that we did for it that you probably wanna do if you want your own tractor. One thing you need to make sure that you have is some kind of access so that you are able to either grab your chickens at the end or to be able to put food and water in there throughout. So I have a little piece of wood handle right here just right sticking out at the edge so I know to grab at it. I can lift it up, I can reach in there, I can get their food, get their water, grab a chicken if I need to, and it's just a really nice and simple, nothing crazy about it. The last two things that I can kind of show you guys here that I have for it is I put a two different types of wiring across it. The welded wiring I did, and that's just so that there's like a firmer, stronger wire. And then I put the chicken wire across it so that any of the small animals aren't gonna find their way to squeeze through it. So with both kind of wirings, it kind of makes the holes even smaller. And the welded wire helps the chicken wire get enough strength so that no animal can just break through it. You gotta be careful with just having chicken wire by itself 
although it's called chicken wire, it helps keep chickens in or out of a place. It's not gonna stop a predator like a raccoon from just ripping it open if they really wanted to get in there. So the double wiring is uh, effective. If you wanted to get away with just using one wire, then maybe use cloth wiring. One of the last things that I wanted to say about this chicken tractor that I made, and this was like I said before, is that our last chicken tractor we had was so heavy for me and Chelsea to both even pick up and to move around. And before that worked with our egg layers. But with Cornish Cross, you wanna be able to move them once a day if you can. So our goal with having this tractor was to make sure it's as light as possible so that hopefully just one of us need to move it. And it's not gonna take the same kind of hassle that it did before. So what I did for this is I took a lot of one by one pieces of wood and that's how I framed out much of the coop. I wanted to use one of those lightest piece of woods but I felt like it was still gonna be stable. And I feel like I was able to achieve that Obviously, if you have two by fours, any of those kind of things, your tractor's gonna have even stronger kind of base around it. But I do think for the size of this and our one by one coop, I think it's gonna be perfect. And I am excited to start moving it around. And we'll give it a test move, even though it's been less than a day, just to see how it is moving them when they're inside it. I understand that this tractor probably isn't something that everybody's gonna love. It's not the perfect one. It's not this beautiful looking thing for that matter. For not having a lot of experience of building anything like this, I think it looks pretty good. Plus, it's gonna keep the chickens safe and it's gonna do the job of moving them once a day. If it does those two things, that's a super big win for us. I think this is gonna make them cleaner, nicer birds. Now it's just that, um, just hope that that first night they're in a new structure, that it's, it was safe for them and it works out kind of feeling. I always am the, the nervous chicken dad on those first nights in a new structure. Or that first night that you bring your chickens outside or they even that coop for the first time, any of those kind of things. Nervous chicken dad alert here. Yeah, will they? Oh, hi. I got you. I'm doing good, how are you? Hi. The last test now is to make sure that they make it overnight safe. Let's get ready to put them to bed. Then I'll walk with you guys in the morning and we'll go check up on them and hopefully they're still there. All right, it's the next morning. So I definitely see chickens in there moving around. Hopefully when I get closer, I see 10 chickens in there. But let's find out. counted them. We have 10. They made it through the first night. Now I'm sure they want their food and water, so let's give them it. Really so Dad. Obviously one night doesn't say it all, but I'll be happy that one night I see 10 chickens. They seem to be doing okay. Nervous chicken dad feels a little better now. I'm a chicken dad. I like your pink birdies on your shirt. What are those pink birdies called? Flamingos. Flamingos. Chicken tractor is a success. I think it looks okay. I think it's doing its job. Chickens look happy. What more can you want? Appreciate you guys always for watching. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.